Jacy. So little Jacy says, okay, we'll, we'll work in the flow. Flow sounds good to me. Here we go. Pessimistic corn, first pack of the day. Welcome, guys. We're going to get right to the packs. Here we go. Thanks for joining. Let's keep an eye out for Woodland Druid when he comes in. I do want to wait for him uh, for the Throne of Eldraine uh, um, collector's packs. But we can select the pack, maybe. Let's take a look. This whole pack is going to our buddy Pessimistic. Subscriber number two. Week number two of our monthly subscription. I actually like the, uh, the little decal down there, 25. Okay, cool. Cutthroat. I've played this guy before. I feel like I feel like I recognize this card. Good luck, buddy. Here we go. Pessimistic. Masters pack of the week. Crimson Mage. Let me know if there's any uh, commons or uncommons we're looking for. Try to keep it here. The um, I think the focus looks pretty good on the handheld. Where I'm holding it, it's down a little bit. Um, it's a little blurry on the table, but plummet. Play that a bunch. Look, little card with cycling. A lot of those always in the in the modern uh, masters packs. Okay, it would be fun. We should do a we should do a, a draft on stream where we get a couple people and we uh, draft some of these masters packs. I've heard drafting in masters is a ton of fun, but there's no really way to do it online. Maybe you can do it. I mean, maybe on Magic Online for thing, but I haven't seen my um, or I haven't had the chance yet to draft. Oh, I remember this guy. I played a bunch of these back in the day. The old guy for cycling, um, because, yeah, when you cycle and you also get a basic land. I remember those old cycling decks back in the day. Okay, cool. I think still a common reprint. Are we at the uncommons now? Oh, no, that's an uncommon. Okay. Here's our second uncommon. Drawing Victor. Astral Slide. Oh, is that the big, uh, one of the big uncommons? So, okay, Ash Barons. Basic land cycling. Discard this card. Search your library for basic land. Reveal it. Put it into your hand. Gotcha. Interesting. So you could use this in some, um, you know, maybe four or five color decks where you have the basics in there. Interesting. Here we go. Ash Barons. Uh, nice hit. Yeah, yeah, interesting. I've never seen that land before, but definitely looks uh, looks playable. Okay, Twilight Mire, pretty cool. It's a dual land, uh, green black. I like these masters uh, dual lands. That looks good. Definitely going in the sleeve. Let's see what those things are going for now. Okay, Fallen Angel, is the uncom is it foil? The foil uncommon. Pretty cool. Foiling looks cool. Look, look back on flying sacrifice a creature. Fallen Angel gets plus two plus one. Not a bad effect, a little expensive at five, but uh, foil uncommon in the master's pack. Pretty cool. Wow, this must be the token. Yeah, Ex that's where it's from. It's from Legends, absolutely, back in the day. Yes, very cool. File, foil reprinted this. Okay. Oh, and then you've got the face down creature token that morphs. It's got the little token thing on the back, but uh, cover a, f a face down creature with this so it blanks out the, uh, the creature when you... Uh, yeah, the, that old ability that allows you to uh, cast a creature and then morph it later. Too, too cool. We got a morph. All right. We got some uh, sleeves. Fallen Angel from Legends. Yes. I played a little Legends back in the day. Unfortunately, when I got in, I think Legends was around, uh, but I was always more into 4th edition, buying the, the regular uh, core sets. To, don't have many Legends cards anymore. All right, and then we got a Twilight Mire. Yeah, yeah, nice Masters packs. Some fun cards in there. So this guy's also a buck. I think a dollar card is worth a penny sleeve on the old Ash Barons. Yeah, I think anytime you get a Masters pack, you get one of these nice uh, dual lands uh, worthwhile. Fun. Obviously, the uh, the price on these is skewed towards really hitting those... Uh, those uh, Jace the Mind Sculptors and others. When we get a foil one of those, man. All right, let's take a look real quick at the Twilight Mire. Twilight Mire, wow, six six fifty is the is the going price on uh, on TCG Player. Not a bad hit. I think probably when you break it down per box, these Masters packs are about six or seven bucks. So definitely got our money's worth. Uh, those are going to our buddy um, Pessimistic Corn. 
Congrats. All right, let's put it in here in your pack. 